I just realized people can't hear me. People were just watching me and can't hear me, but you can see me now. Um, so guys, I am, we do have a quiz tonight. If you do want to come in and join us on uh, quizando.com, all you have to do is come down here and join us on our Quizando channel. It's really easy, really simple. And uh, you can play along with our 30 question quiz where you can win part of our pot. I'm gonna go to the full screen now, but here we go with our Quizando Live. And the first question is this. Hey guys, how you doing? Um, welcome to Quizando on this Friday night. It is another edition of our Quizando Live show. We have some new people in the house. Um, I wanna know who, told everybody who's in the house. So guys, just say a big hello as we start off the show. I know this is a little bit of tradition, but it also gives me a good indicator of who's with us, who I can pick on. And you know, just what we're gonna get up to tonight. So big hello, I want a big hello to all of you, but I'd like to see who's there, so say hi back. Howdy, hello sweetheart, where are you from sweetheart? Hello Steffers, hello Wowbagger, hello Mikel, hello Fanis, uh, Mangozo, Finyon, or Fingon. Fingon. Um, I may or may not be here. Shaggy, yes, he, he he's here and he's not. Bonjour to Cyber Goddess. And uh, anybody else? I know Lashes is somewhere around, but he didn't say hello this time. Uh, Cats at City, also not in the mood to, you know, deign a hello or an order from this. She must be a, must be a bit of a dom there. Uh, hey, Chris. Yeah, you're just creeping. You just be creeping in the in, in in the shadows. All right, we got three rounds as always. The way this quiz works, if you haven't played it before, is very very simple. The quicker you answer the question, the more points you get. The more points you get, the higher up the leaderboard you go. We got three rounds. Each round has a winner. The winners don't get anything, but kudos. It's the overall winners who answer the most questions correct throughout the entire quiz who will win the prize. And the prize is uh, twenty five euros. Going to be split between the top ten proponents we'll be taking a look at the leaderboard throughout the game but don't worry because uh i'll keep you updated on what's going on what are the rounds well i have no idea what they're about today because you know i like it as a mystery so um I, we usually start the game with a bit a bit of a, a guess what, what the round is but you know what we're not going to do that today we're just going to jump in and i'm going to give you here this first round the first round today is asian food according to cat sat city which is wrong <laughs> I just, I just assume she's wrong. Uh, it's country borders. So it's country borders. So country borders, where the country ends its line. First question coming up right now. Um, and it is this one. Which of the following does not border this country? Paraguay, Finland, none of them do. Namibia. Which of the following does not border this country? Uh, the correct answer is none of them do. I don't know what country that is. It does look like a Rorschach spot, um, but it's probably some a series of islands somewhere in the Pacific is, is my guess on that. And um, Matt just jumped on that. He said, yep, yeah, that, 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 that's none of them. None of them could do that. Oh, we have, we have someone new in the audience. LKC. You done with LKC? Yeah, you know me. Um, yeah, sorry for the just random rap reference there uh lkc welcome to the game uh who else do we have chris 89 steffers so very good first round but matt was super quick on it uh Shevchenko is also didn't get that one right nor did jamie quiz fanis and mangozo all going for paraguay finland and namibia fair enough it happens don't worry i could see a smiling face yes i could see random stuff i <laughs> I thought that was like an inverse pash, uh, inverse picture of like a, um, a, I don't know. I'm not even going to go there. So, the first question in, you got how it goes. That's known as Paradolia. Oh, okay. I didn't know there was a place called Paradolia. That is a country I've never heard of before. Is that a country? No. Oh, when you see things... Oh. All right. No, it's a psychological effect. <laughs> so thank you very much. I was like, I didn't know there's a country called Paradolia. Oh, okay. Let's go to the next question. So country borders. Country borders. Now, here's a good one. How many countries border this country? Is it one? Is it two? Is it three? Or is it four? Four, two, one, or three? Four, two, one, or three? How many countries border this country? The correct answer is two, because there's Wales and Scotland, because obviously that's England, I think. Is that England? Yeah, I think that's England. I'm assuming. 
<laughs> we got England, but two um, over there. Eight of you getting that one correct. Uh, congrats to Finian, Steffers, Mangozo, Cats at City, Shaggy, Eight, Chris A98, and Wales. Why do you get these questions wrong? It's because you're too excited, Jamie. Don't be a puppy. Be like, be like a, an old dog. Just like calm and steady. Boom. And hit it right. Th think of yourself as like the John Wick of the quiz world and you will get every shot spot on. All right, so here we are. It is uh, question three in our country bo country borders round. And the next question is about a country border. Which of the following does not border this country? Serbia, Albania, Bulgaria, or Northern, North Macedonia? So which does not border this country? Serbia, Albania, Bulgaria, or North Macedonia? Correct answer being Serbia, which does not border that country, which... As you can tell over there, looks like Greece. I'm guessing, because there's a lot of islands. But I could be wrong again, because I'm wrong most of the time. Um, that over there, Billy Bear, getting that one correct. Space Kate, Franis, uh, Matt Gozo, uh, Urban Sombrero, Finion, LK, C, Jamie Quiz, G2G6. S a couple of you went from Ma North Macedonia. A couple of guesses over there, but it's all good. Looking quite greasy. It does look quite greasy, that one over there. Um, Steffer uh, Finion, though, jumping up seven places with that one to top spot. Uh, wow, Bagger moving up three. Bill Bear moving up five. And LKC, who hasn't spoken to me yet, hasn't said anything, hasn't said hi, is moving up, to uh, moving up three places over there. With G2, G6 moving up a couple as well. Um, yeah, so... Country borders, we're doing well. This is this is taking some mental capacity because you have to figure out which country it is and then what the answer is. So I'm glad this one is a little bit tougher than usual. That dot country was Tonga, by the way. Thank you very much, Urban Sombrero. Did you know that or did you just look that up? He will tell us after the next question, which is coming up now. Next country borders question. Mount Everest lies on the border between which countries? China, Nepal, China, India, India, Nepal, or Bhutan, China? Mount Everest lies on the border between which countries? Correct answer being China and Nepal. I was going that way, so that's why I got it right. <laughs> and uh, that one there, keeping Finian in top space, but Cat Sat City jumping on that. It's Asian related. She just loves her Asian stuff. And moving up five places. Urban Sombrero moving up one. G2, G6 moving up four. Shaggy moving up three. Mikkel moving up five. And Fanis from Greece, who obviously should have known the Greece question before, um, moving up as well. Okay. So, we are six questions to go in this round. Let's go with question number five then. So, question number five in the country borders round. And the question is, which of the following does not border this country? Is it Moldova? Is it Romania? Is it Bulgaria? Or is it Northern Macedonia? Correct answer being Moldova. I wouldn't have known that because I have no idea what country that is. It looks like my old auntie. With her handbag and her poodle. That's at least what I'm seeing. Um, Steffers moving up one, G2G6 moving up two, L LKC moving up three places, uh, with a total of eight of you getting out correct. Wasn't an easy one. That's Serbia. Okay. So that's what Serbia looks like. So next time I see my old auntie, I'm going to call her Auntie Serbia. And next time I see Serbia, I'm going to call her Auntie Marie. We'll, we'll keep that out. We'll keep that over there. So Serbia looks like my Auntie Marie with the, you know, that sort of blue hair. Um, great, great stuff. So, we're doing very well so far. Let's keep moving on this round. And the next question is, which of these countries does not border each other? Poland, Russia, Austria, Slovenia, Czech, Hungary, or Turkey and Greece? Greece, Turkey. Poland, Russia, Austria, Slovenia, Czech, Hungary, and Greece, Turkey. Correct answer being Czech, Hungary. They don't border each other. They're close, but they don't directly border each other. And that bringing G2G sucks up one Bill Bear and Cats at City moving up places as well as LKC and Matt all moving up. Looking, looking very good. Eight of you getting that one correct. That's 40% of our entire crew getting that one correct. Not too bad, not too shabby. All right. 
four questions to go in this round. Let's go back. We're going to do these ones back to back, so get ready for quick fire stuff. First question is, which of the following does not border this country? Latvia, the Republic of Ireland, none of them do, or Czech Czechia. Is that Czechia? Czechia. It's not Chechnya. None of them do. Don't know what country that is. But it looks like a hen. Looks like a good old cock. A cockadoodle do that is. Cats that say moving up one, Bill Bear moving up one. Back to back to back. We're going to go with these ones. And next question on our borders round is coming up now. And it's asking this. Which of these countries do not border each other? Guiana, Suriname, Colombia, Venezuela, Guiana, French Guiana, Guiana, French Guiana, Suriname. Oh, boom, boom, boom. Correct answer being French Guiana and Guiana. Even though they have the same name, they're not stuck together. Or they have a very similar name. They're not stuck together. And a little bit of movement on the board with LKC, Wildbagger, and Shaggy moving up a couple of places over there. 35% of you getting that correct. Uh, lots of guesses in the house tonight. But it's fine. Guesswork is what makes this quiz a little bit more fun. And there's other rounds that you're going to do amazingly well in. If I knew what they were, I would actually tell you what they were, but I don't. So we're going to find out as we go through these rounds. Let's go with our next borders question. We're going on the border. Which of the following borders this country? Is it Cameroon, Bolivia, Laos, or Uzbekistan? Which of the following borders this country? Correct answer is Bolivia. Yeah, yeah, that, because that's like, then, I don't know, it's, it's a country in South Af South America. Uh, Stafford's moving up five, while back, moving up three. <laughs> five of you getting that correct. Sweetheart, good on you, girl. You got that one correct. I like, I like when people get questions correct over there, especially when I don't know them. Um, all right, all right, Paraguay, it could be Paraguay, it could be Uruguay, it could be any Guay. It could be any guy. Um, over there, so one question to go. Yes, cats, I think. You see, you people, It's it, I, they always say, always surround yourself by people smarter than you. And a lot of you are smarter than me because I have no clue. That's why I, I will always have the answers that you give me. All right, guys, one question to go in this round, and we'll finish off our country borders round. Let's go with it. And the question is... Which of these countries borders French Guiana? Guiana, Suriname, Panama, or Venezuela? Which of these countries borders Guiana? Mm, French Guiana. Correct answer is Suriname. And if you got that one correct, you got points. And if you got points, you went higher up the list. And if you went higher up the list, well, you're going to like give a crown. But who's getting the crown for this round? It's none other than Fingen. Fingen getting the first place, Catsat City in second, and Wow Bagger in third. Congratulations to the three of you for winning the round. But this is not a sprint, it is a marathon. We got 30 questions, not just 10, so there is more to go. Let's keep going and find out what's going to happen. So first of all, how are you feeling about that first round? Do you like border questions? Do you like questions about like abstract shapes and country borders? Let me know. Love them, Billy Bear. Yes, obviously you do. No, Mikael says. That was so hard. You, that, that's something I say often. Uh, no, yes. Ten yeses there. Okay, man, go so far. No, thanks. Well, we're a mixed abilities crowd. That's fine. That's why we have three rounds, because there's something for everyone. And uh, usually a snide remark for myself in between. Let's go and find out what our second round is. Is it more country borders? Is it? Ocean borders? No. It's pop culture. And with pop culture, that means it's time to get our pop on and talk about all things silly and like current and old, used to be current stuff that shaped our culture. All right, let's go with the first one. What Jason? What has Jason Bourne lost at the start of the 2007 thriller, The Bourne Ultimatum? His hair, his bank card, his family, or his memory? What did Jason Bourne lose at the start of the Bourne Ultimatum? The correct answer is his memory. I think we had this quiz, this question a couple of months back. Um, but there it is. Bill Bear jumping on that one. 
I'm surprised you guys weren't quicker on that one. That was quite straightforward. Jason Bourne, Bourne Ultimatum, did lose his memory. And I think all of you got, well, 14 of you getting that correct. <laughs> Three of you going for his bank card. <laughs> that is the perfect way to start the film. You just have this guy and he loses his bank card. And the whole, the whole film is about getting his bank card back through that lousy ATM that ate it. Ugh. You never like those ATMs. Anyway. All right, Jason Bourne there. First question in our... Dude, where's my bank card? Ah, Billy Bay, you're sharp tonight. You're very, very sharp tonight. Um, dude, where's my bank card? Yeah, that wouldn't be the best film on the planet. Let's keep moving. Next question. What is the name of Superman's home planet? Apocalypse, Andromeda, Yavin, or Krypton? What is the name of Superman's home planet? It is Krypton. We like Krypton. And uh, Urban Sombrero taking him to top spot over there. He is probably a bit of a Superman fan. Urban Sombrero, Bill Bear in second place. Uh, G2G6, Mangozo, Space Kate, and Chris. A98 all moving up there. Only Sweetheart getting that incorrect. What happened, Sweetheart? How'd you get that one incorrect? We all know Krypton and Kryptonite and Superman. They all go together like, like one nice big together thingy. Bobby. Um, no? Or is that just, you You just confused it, Andromeda. Andromeda is, I, I, if I remember correctly, it's like a star system, Andromeda? Yeah. I thought Krypton, Kryptonite killed him. And Kryptonite comes from Krypton because what happens with Kryptonite is it diffuses his powers because it's like a piece of his old homeland where he's not special. It's only on Earth where he's special because of the sun and stuff. But yeah, yeah, I'm not a nerd whatsoever. I don't know this stuff. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Let's keep going on. Don't worry. Uh, next question is, the song Stuck in the Middle of You was used in which Tarantino film? Death Proof, Jackie Brown, Reservoir Dogs, or Pulp Fiction? I'll give you a rendition. And I don't know I can do it tonight. And I feel that something ain't right. That's a bad version, but it was Reservoir Dogs being the correct answer. Stuck in the middle with you. What a great song. Here I am. If you don't, if you haven't seen that scene or haven't seen Reservoir Dogs, make sure you do check it out. It is such a good film. It is like ridiculously good. Um, if you're squeamish, a couple of scenes you might want to fast forward through, but other than that, it's all good. Wildbagger moving up two there. Uh, G2G6 and Jamie Quiz moving up some. Bill Bear moving down four and LKC moving up. 15 of you getting that correct. Uh, a couple of you going for Jackie Brown and, and Pulp Fiction and, and stuff. Always makes me think of Malcolm in the Middle. Good tampon commercial. Yes, it is. Well, usually, you don't, I, 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 again, I don't know too much about tampons, but I'm assuming you don't want it stuck in the middle. You want to put in the middle. Razor ear. What's that? Oh, yes, 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 yes. That's exactly it. That's uh, that infamous scene, but a very awesome scene. There's one really cool thing about, uh, if you don't know uh, Reservoir Dogs, and this could be a trivia question at some point, um, but uh, it is shot in real time. So the, when you'll see a clock at the beginning of the film, and when you see the clock at the end of the film, it is the exact precise time as the time that's actually lapsed in the film. So it, it's one of the cool features of uh, Reservoir Dogs, and it's a good reason to watch it, because Quentin Tarantino was one of his best over there. So there you have it. Uh, let's keep moving on. More pop culture to come, and the next pop culture question is the following. Who sang this, the lyrics? Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Was it Little Richard, Chuck Berry, Jerry Lee Lewis, or Fats Domino? A goodness gracious, great balls of fire. You shake my nerves and you rattle my brains. Jerry Lee Lewis is the correct answer uh, over there, who married his cousin. Um, and again, another good film with uh, Dennis Quaid, I think it is. Uh, great balls of fire. Yeah. I forgot who's in it. I think it's Dennis Quaid who's, play, who's playing him. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, Dennis Quaid, Winona Ryder, and... Uh, yeah, a couple of other people, but very, very good film. I would check it out. Uh, Lashhead's moving up some. Mangozo, uh, Chris, A98, Space Kate. Uh, 15 of you getting that correct. 
couple of guesses over there, but guesses are fine. Little Richard, Chuck Berry, they all sort of mold into one. It's, it, trust me, it's a little bit hard. I, I love the sort of 50s, 60s sort of songs, so I know these inside out. But I find it harder to recognize the rappers in most of the songs today than I do, like, these guys over here. And in fact, like, in 50, 60 years, when people are talking about music history, they're going to be like, who what? Because, uh, I mean, again, all their names are stupid as well now uh, that, that that come out I, from I, just the whole lot of them uh, over there. Like, who is in the... I'm going to read the top ten, Billboard top ten. Nicki Minaj released some new song today. Let's read the Billboard top 100, uh, the names of some of the artists. I, this is me being old, but fuck it. I, I, I don't mind being old and, and being stupid. Um, but let's let's look at some of the things. So the weekend in Ariana Grande, fine. They'll they'll be a little bit a uh, bit memorable. Dua Lipa, she's gonna get very confused with a bunch of other people. Dojo Cat, uh, where are we? Kid Leroy, God knows how many kid is. Then there's Little Nas X, um, Cardi B, yeah, fine. Uh, what else we have here? I'm I'm just looking at some of the random names that are coming up. Little Baby, that's not gonna be confused with Little Dirk or uh, who's with DJ Khaled. Uh, let's see, let's see, 24, 24K Golden, <laughs> I mean, these are some of the names of these people, Chris Brown and Young Thug, uh, DJ Khaled featuring Nas, not to be confused with Little Nas X, <laughs> exactly, Little Richard would be Little Dick, no, it wouldn't be Little Dick XXX, it would be Little Dick XXL, because that's how it is, uh, let's keep going, what is that? Game does Commander like to play with Offred in The Handmaid's Tale? Monopoly, Chess, Life, or Scrabble? What game does the Commander like to play with Offred in Handmaid's Tale? The correct answer is uh, Scrabble is the game they like to play. Because in a dystopian future, all you want to do is spell word games. <laughs> little Richard. That would be, yeah, Little little Dick XXL. Um, over there, Space Gate moving up four. Bill Bear moving up five. Finian moving up some there. Uh, Lash is moving up as well, and we're oh, we're at the midpoint of the quiz. So while we're here, let us take a look at the overall to see what's happening. So right now, Wildbagger is in first place with seventy five thousand points. Fignan is in second place at seventy thousand points, but right on his tail is Billy Bear. Cat Cat City at sixty five and sixty three thousand points is Urban Sombrero. G two G six with sixty two thousand points. Matt with sixty one. 55,000 points brings us LKC and Mangozo uh, in ninth place with 54,000 points at 52 is Spacegate. With a 20,000 point variance between top and 10th, anything can change in this game. So I'm just warning you, you, you try hard enough, you will do awesomely, awesomely well uh, in the rest of the quiz. No, I haven't. I did something. I had alcohol. See, alcohol is absolutely fantastic. And this is not just any alcohol. This is like the cheapest uh, Radler, uh, you know, sort of lemon beer I could find um, at my local Little. So there we are. And that's why I pep myself up full of energy and ready to go. Alcohol does it for me. So I'm going to be drunk every, <laughs> every quiz from here on out. Can't be Little. No, nope. Little prices rock. Uh, let's keep moving on. Now you're going to make me yawn. Darn you, G2G6. Let's keep going. Okay, Anthony Daniels is famous for his portrayal of which non-human character? Yoda, R2-D2, Chewbacca, or C-3PO? Anthony Daniels is famous for his portrayal of which non-human character? Obviously, it's C-3PO. Sorry for giving that away. I just felt like doing a C-3PO impression, which I've never done before. Um, but it just came out. It felt so natural. So, uh, Bill Bear moving up one there. Chris A98 moving up three. And Cat Set City moving up one. Only 10 of you getting that correct. 48% of the people. Uh, some people going for Yoda and R2-D2 and Chewbacca. You knew it was a Star Wars thing. I mean, you had the Star Wars thing over, over there. Uh, but yes, it was C-3PO. Uh, to all my Star Wars fans over there. The impression must have been really bad if you didn't get that. So, let's keep moving on. Four questions to go in our pop culture round. Next question coming up now, and that question is the following. If you are bored between 21st June and 22nd July, what star sign are you? Taurus, Aries, Cancer, or Capricorn? So, what star, star sign are you? 21st June, 22nd July. What are you? You are a Cancer. 
That is the correct answer over there. So if you are a Cancer, uh, you were born in those dates. G2G6, Mangozo, Fingden, all getting that correct. Uh, let's see, 15 you going getting it correct. One went for Taurus and two went for Capricorn. Okay, who in this group actually be actually believes in star signs? Like, do you guys, do any of you believe it? I, I'm, I'm not going to take in the piss. Do any of you believe in them? Like, do you sort of think that there's something to them or is they just a bit of fun? Like, rubbish, according to Wildbagger. Yeah, that, he, no uncertain terms there. No. Could be a bit of self-fulfilling prophecy. Some of it is true, I think. Could be. Could very well be. Nope, nobody else gonna. I think Lashids believes in a big time. I have a, I have a deep suspicion Lashids is is a sort of guy who picks up his horoscope in the morning and and lives his life according to what happens, um, on the black and white. I had, the one that said, if today is your birthday, <laughs> you would have cake, and I did. <laughs> I believe in the fourth realm of the moon sign under Saturn prophecy. Ah yes, the age of Aquarius. It's the moon and then in the summer sky. All right. <laughs> Just teasing a little bit of lashes there. And he did that all in caps. And it, it almost felt like it just came off of Urban Sombrero's sentence and continued through because it just went like that. It's your But if it's your birthday today, Urban Sombrero, happy birthday to you. <laughs> Let's keep going. Uh, three questions to go in our pop culture round. Not today. Okay. But I can... So if it's not today, it's one of the other 364 days in the year, I'm assuming. <laughs> other 365 is only in a leap year, isn't that right? Isn't that right, Billy Bear? All right, let's go with our next question. Pop culture. Here it is. And the question is, in which film did Arnold Schwarzenegger say, Get to the chopper! Predator, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, Commando, or Raw Deal? Which one? Which one did he say? Get to the chopper! It was Predator. Predator was the film where he said, get to the chopper. I'm sure we had this, like, two weeks ago. Um, this feels, like, really, really, really close. Wildbagger moving up one. Space Kate, Chris A98, Lashheads moving up one there. Fignan moving up one. And Mikkel... Alrighty, 12 of you getting that one correct. What? There we are. There we are. So let's go. Two more to go in the pop culture round. The next question is, Greta Thunberg, the activist who started the School for Strike Climate Movement, is from which country? Denmark, Norway, Finland, or Sweden? How dare you? Sweden is the correct answer over there, and uh, yep, uh, she got to stay home, and she got her wish. No planes moved last year, so it's all good. Uh, Bill Bear moving up one, Urban Sombrero, Matt, um, yeah, Wildbagger. I'm actually one of the people, I'm not a big Greta Thunberg fan, I just don't know why, um, but yeah, I'm not a, not a big fan. Are, are you guys fans of Greta Thunberg? It's, it's fine if you are, I just don't get her. Uh, 16 of you, by the way, getting that correct, with two of you going for Norway. Big fan. I thought you'd be Billy Bear. I thought I thought you'd you'd, you'd have like you'd be uh, kindred spirits, so to speak. <laughs> Shaggy, not a fan at all. How did I know, Shags? How did I know? What Scooby Dooby Doo doesn't want to play? Doesn't want to hang out with Greta? Um. You have stolen my future. How dare you? <laughs> All right. You know, you know why? Because she she would just horribly thrash your, your mystery van. She would say, I'm sorry, that's a gas guzzler. That's going away. You have to have an EV provided by Elon. Zoinks. Not a big fan, but a big turbine. <laughs> Okay, Mangozo must be doing this from the pub. Uh, but let's keep going down. She doesn't pay for gas. No, she doesn't, does she? Um, she will end up in one of those parody versions of Scooby-Doo one day. All right, let's keep moving. Final question in this round and asking this 
one. How much storage space did the original iPod have? Two gig, 512 megabytes, five gig, or one gig? How much storage space did the original iPod have? And it was five gig. In fact, they one of the things they told you is it can store 2,000 songs. That was, I think, one of the, the original pitches for the original iPod over there. Urban Sombrero with that one, taking him to top spot, winning the round, Wagbagger in second, and Matt in third, taking our pop culture round. Guys, congratulations. That was a great second round. You did very, very well for yourselves. Uh, only six of you getting that correct. Bill Bear, Matt, Urban Sombrero, LKC, Lashids, and Mikkel. So, we are... Now, one round away till the end of the round. Don't know what the final round's going to be, but the overall is looking like this. Wildbagger is now at 99,000 points. Bill Bear is 96,000 points. Fignan is 93,000 points. 90,000 points. Matt, 89,000 points. Urban Sobrero, 83,000 points. G G2G6. LKC is at 79, 77 for Mikkel, 76 for Space Kate, and 76 for Lashin. So it is still very tight, and there could be a lot of movement in the next couple of questions. But I guess bacteria. You shouldn't pay for gas. What is bacteria? Cat's that city. It's, it's just a general word. We do, we're playing word theme. Oh, a bacteria theme for the next question. For the next thing. We could be. Could it be a bacteria theme? Could it be? Could it be bacteria? Well, no. It's food and drink. But I guess it's a form of bacteria. It, there is growth, and it can have a lot of bacteria. But this is a great round. Food and drink. If you haven't eaten, sorry, it's going to make you hungry. Let's go with the first question. And the first question is this. What meat is served in a popular Peking dish served with pancakes, sauce, and shredded spring onions? Is it duck, goose, quail, or lamb? What meat is served in a popular Peking dish with pancakes, sauce, shredded spring and onions? Is duck, obviously. Bit of Peking duck there. Hope you like your Peking duck. Jamie, knowing his Peking duck very well. Um, moving up to top spot, Chris A98 and G2G6 in third. Good stuff. Uh, 18 of you getting that correct with only Fanis, L Alf, and Shevchenko. Not getting that one correct over there, but it's fine. 86% of you getting it correct. Good on you guys. All right, let's keep moving on. Next food question, and then we'll take a break after this one. What color are ripe cherries? Yellow, green, blue, or red? What color are ripe cherries? Mm. This is one for the, for you to think about. The correct answer over there is red, obviously. You want some good old red cherries. If you don't have red cherries, you ain't a happy bunny. And Jamie moving down with that one, somehow. Uh, but Chris A98 taking top spot in that one. All right. Let's see how we're doing here. 18 of you getting it correct again. You guys are absolutely awesome in this food quiz. Are unripe cherries green? No. No. Not to my knowledge, I think. Are they? I can't remember. <laughs> I think they're just hard, if I remember correctly. Yes. They're very light red. They're clear, according to Shaggy. Pale green, according to Catsat City. I would trust Catsat City because, like, she lives in the wilderness. She lives in that house where they shot misery. Let's keep going on. Next question. The Cadbury brand is known for what type of confectionery product? Licorice, chocolate, gum, or toffee? The Cadbury brand is known for what type of confectionery product? Come on, you know this. And I'm sure you know this. It is, of course, is chocolate. Mmm. Good old chocolate. A little bit of dairy milk or a whole nut over there. Tastes good. More of a UK brand, I guess, than, than US, but I'm sure you guys got that correct. With uh, Cat Set City moving up two, Urban Sombrero moving up three, Space Cape moving up two, Mikhail moving up two, and Mangozo moving up one there. Uh, chocolate, all 18 of you getting correct. This is, seems like it's going to be a speed round. Let's go with the next question right now. And the next question in our round is the following. Which of the following is traditionally the main ingredient of a traditional pesto sauce? Parsley, basil, oregano, or avocado? What's in a basil sauce? You tell me. What is in a traditional basil sauce? The obvious thing is pesto sauce is basil. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I gave that one just a little bit away. Um, but it's all good. 
Okay, so Chris A98, keep it top spot, Urban Sombrero moving up one. We'll go with the... Sorry for giving that away, by the, by the way, guys. I think it's big in India, too. Uh, is it true that the Hershey bar tastes like vomit? No, it doesn't. Hershey bars taste really good. The little lemon lager is kicking in. It is kicking in, I, because I was just going on, on autopilot. Um, no, no, the Hershey bars taste really good. I, I, if you haven't had a Hershey bar, you should try it. Um, sometimes, I, I have found in Europe, sometimes they don't taste as good as the ones you get in the States, but, but, but they're good. It's good food for you. It's, it's all good and tasty, as they say. Hold on, let me just stretch my screen so I have everything going on right. All right, let's keep moving on. Next question. The next question is a Japanese preparation of raw fish without rice is called what? Miso, sashimi, sake, or maki roll. A Japanese preparation of raw fish without rice is called what? Miso, sashimi, sake, or maki roll. Correct answer is sashimi. Mmm, tasty sashimi. Uh, essentially raw fish on a plate. And Catsat City, knowing that one very well, taking her just minute points away from Chris A98. Uh, Steffer's moving up with Finian and uh, LKC. 17 of you getting that correct. One person going for Maki Roll. And I'm thinking that's Mangoza. <laughs> and we move from easy questions to dishes prepared with Mongolian <laughs> Yes, I think that could be coming up right now. This is this is uh, roughly the point where things get a little bit harder. Um, it's because that's how it is in all films. At the at the very beginning, everything's nice and easy, and then once everything gets nice and steamy, things get a little bit harder, and it's time to get steamy. So here's the next question: A new M and M's filling was released in April 2019. What filling was it? Hazelnut spread, banana paste, almond nuts, or orange fondant? A new M and M's filling was released in April 2019. What was the filling? The correct answer being hazelnut spread, because banana paste would just be stupid. And uh, that one there taking Urban Sombrero up. Steffers, Shaggy, Space Kate, Lashes, Billy Bear. It seems like that was a very American thing. Um, them all moving up. Uh, nine of you getting that correct. Uh, with three of you going for banana paste and almond nuts. Whoever went for banana paste, boo on you. Whoever comes up with a banana paste filling is just wrong. Ugh. Now, I told you you're going to get hungry. That, that This round does it. Luckily, I am full. I am fine. Bananas are lovely. I'm not, but banana paste filling? No. Um, six to 12 is very tight, tight, tight. Oh, yeah. Let's see how 6 to 12 is going overall. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is really tight, actually. Um, to be honest, even the top is tight. There is a whole lot of shaking going on. The whole board is sort of like compacted together. This food round has really brought out the best in you, so it's all about super quick pressing and getting the questions right. Guys, we got a game on here. Okay, so 6 to 12 being very tight. As you guys have already seen, um, we have a total of four questions left. Right now, Open Sombrero leading with 136,000 points, but that could change because Wildbagger, Billy Bear, are right on uh, his tail. Fignan is at 128,000 points, so not too far away. And Matt is at 126,000 points. Goodness, there's going to be a whole lot of shaking going on, and we're going to see who wins. But let's do this. Next question. Four to go. And the question is the following. In what country were potatoes originally found? Russia, Hungary, Ireland, or Peru? In what country were potatoes originally found? The correct answer being Peru. Wow. Didn't know that. I did not know that. I thought potatoes were, like, European. So, Catsat City knowing that, moving up two, Lashes moving up three, Spacecape moving up one, Jamie Quiz moving up two, Matt moving up three, Mikkel, Wowbagger, and Steffers moving down seven. A couple of people going for Ireland over there. Thinking it's a bit of an ire. I, it was Ireland where they started all the potatoes from. Oh, no. Yes, yeah, a, we got a potato emoji. Always happy with a potato emoji. All right, there. So, three questions to go. I just want to see if there's been any movement in the top the top spot over there. Nope, Urban Sombrero still holding on there. Okay. 
actually the entire board stayed the same, only Mikhail moving into the top 10 with that last question. Let's go with our third from last question, because I don't know what you call that. <laughs> Next question, and the third from last, is the following. Which province in France boasts many dishes influenced by German cuisine? Bretagne, Provence, Alsace-Lorraine, or Bordeaux? Which province in France boasts many dishes influenced by German cuisine? It's Alsace-Lorraine, uh, uh, um, which is on the sort of German side of France. And that is the correct answer. Now, Irvin Sombrero knew that moving up one place. Jamie knew that moving up two. Wow, back moving up to Mikhail, Fignon, Billy Bear. What did that do to the overall leaderboard? Well, top three stayed the same with a little bit more space opening up between Wildbagger and uh, Urban Sabrero. Billy Bear not getting that one correct, so he is fighting hard for third place. Uh, Finian is at 142,000 points. Matt right behind him at 134. My goodness. Uh, Mikhail moved up two with that one, and Cats at City moved up one. Spacecape lost some points there. And Gamer3000, hello Gamer3000, did you just join us? Uh, thanks for joining us. Your great-grandmother is from Alsace-Lorraine. Well, I have a, I have friends from Alsace-Lorraine uh, from when I used to live in France. Uh, yes, it's a very, very nice place over there in Alsace. Two questions to go. Two questions to go. Let's go with our penultimate question. And the correct answer is going to be this. What is the most expensive cheese? Poulet, White Stilton Gold, Wilkes Farm Cheddar, or Caccio Cavallo Podilico? Poulet, White Stilton Gold, Wilkes Farm Cheddar, or Caccio Cavallo Podilico? It is Poulet. I want to learn more about Poulet. Poulet cheese. So, Poulet cheese is the world's most expensive cheese. It's a pound of donkey milk's cheese, <laughs> so you weren't too far off G2G6, um, where uh, a pound of this can cost anywhere from 600 to to $1,000 of poulet cheese. Donkey cheese. <laughs> Sounds absolutely disgusting, uh, but it's probably tasty. Uh, Mikhail, 1986, uh, 1693, moving up two. Lashed's moving up two. Bill Bear moving up three. Matt and L. KC moving up five. With that one, only nine of you getting it correct. Um, with that last one, it does taste. <laughs> Bill Bear, <laughs> oh, it tastes like ass. <laughs> yes. Okay. That that is that is a good one, Bill Bear. Very very sharp. <laughs> it tastes like ass. Oh, Billy, Billy, Billy. Um, well, you're right. You're right. It does. Okay, so we got one question to go. Let's just check the leaderboard. Is this going to make any difference to anyone? Let's find out. Overall leaderboard, Erman Sombrero, he, unless he gets this wrong, he's going to take top spot. Um, Chris A98 and Catsat City, it's going to be luck of the draw over here. Whoever gets it quickest is going to win this one. Now, everything from Mikkel down to Wowbagger could be big here. This could, well, oh, sorry, I'm looking at the round. Let's look at the overall. Sorry about that. Overall, so yes, it looks like Wow uh, Urban Sabrero could have it unless he gets this unless he gets this question wrong. He has it. Wow Bagger um, over there and Bill Bear very tight over there. Anything can happen. Finian with 142,000 points. Matt Finian, they're going to be duking it out for fourth and fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. Wow, you guys, uh, Cats at City, you guys are all in a battle. Good luck to you all in this last question. Wow, tastes like ass, as Billy said. That's what it will taste like if you don't do well in this next question. But if you do, you'll be walking home with some money. So let's go. Final question in this Quizando Live. And the question is, in what year did McDonald's introduce the Chicken McNuggets? 1980, 1986, 1985, or 1981? In what year did McDonald's introduce the Chicken Nuggets? Mm, that golden goodness that fits in your mouth. 1981 was the year. If you got that correct, you got points. If you got a lot of points, you went up the list. The round winner for this round of Cusando Live is Urban Sombrero with Cats at City in second and Chris A98 in third. So kudos to you for being round champions in our food and drink round, which obviously was bound to make everybody hungry. But our overall winner for tonight is none other than 
Urban Sombrero in first place with Billy Bear in second place and Wow Bagger in third. Congratulations, guys, for taking the top three spots. But you are not the only three people who are walking away with money today. No, because our overall leaderboard looks like this. In fourth place, Figden um, with 150,000 points. Oof, how close was he to Wild Bagger? Well, super close. They were milliseconds between their points on that. Matt came in fifth place uh, with 141,000 points. Catsat City in sixth place with 140,000 points. Mikhail with 134,000 points. Chris A98 with 133,000 points. Lashid with 131,000 points, and G2G6 rounds out our top 10 for today with 128,000 points. Congratulations to all of you. Guys, that was some good fun. It was intense towards the end. No problem, Billy Bear. I seem to be your sugar daddy when it comes down to giving money out. Um, I hope you all had a wonderful time. I will be back again next week on Wednesday and Friday for two more Quizando live quizzes. Three rounds as always. Tell your friends, tell your family. Let this community grow and let's get some more good quizzing going on. I hope you all have a wonderful time and a wonderful evening. Enjoy your weekend. And until next time, arrivederci, au revoir, aus wiedersehen, and ciao. It's Wesley signing out on Quizando Live. Once I press the button. All right, guys, if you are listening uh, to this on Facebook, uh, do come along, play some of our other games. We have a lot of great games going on. So do join us on Quizando Live. Yep, that's right.